why don't you tell me a little bit about um, your transition from working with um, Yahoo to jumping back into like the startup world? Yeah, I mean, I I think it was it was a a moment where I I realized just big companies won for me. Uh, pulled into the parking garage one day uh, in Sunnyvale, California, and by all accounts, I, I you know I I had the job that I thought I always wanted. <laughs> I was running business development for a, a, a huge business unit, and I didn't like going to work every day. And it was nothing to do with the company. I mean, this is when Yahoo was doing well. By all accounts, I had a pretty cool job, and, and I learned a ton there. I mean, it's a great company. I still have a lot of great memories and people, but I realized that I'm somebody who likes to deal with a lot of white space and likes to deal with a lot of ambiguity and uncertainty. And there's probably a bit of a disease for, for folks like me, which is having that risk of not knowing whether something's going to work or not. And uh, so so it was, it was clear to me, I don't think I knew 